Today I will read you a book called The Pat Sars. A pet sars was a sauropod dinosaur. It lived from 150 to 144 million years ago. The name of pet sars means deceptive lizard. A pet sars was a huge dinosaur. It was between 70 and 80 feet long. It held its long tail up in the air. The tail helped a pet a petosaurus keep its balance as it walked. The tail could also knock down predators. From the time it hatched, a petosaurus grew steadily. An adult a petosaurus weighed about 30 tons. A petosaurus had a tiny head on top of its big body. The front of its head was filled with pencil-shaped teeth. Sauropods like a petosaurus lived in or near forests. The forests helped them hide from meat eaters. A petosaurus found ferns cycads, shrubs, and evergreen plants called conifers to eat. A petosaurus used its long neck to reach plants to eat. An adult probably ate up to 1,000 pounds of food each day. Meat eaters such as a loceros try to eat a pet Sars. A pet Sars fought back with its big, heavy tail. Herds of a pet Sars walked around together. Scientists have found a pet Sars footprints called trackways that show this. A pet Sars died out about. 144 million years ago, other plant eaters took its place. Scientists know about the pet sars because they have studied fossils. Fossils are the remains of living things that died long ago. Many fossils of a pet sars have been found in the Western United States. The first one was found in 1877. Paleontologists are people who study dinosaurs. Othniel C. Marsh was the paleontologist who named the pet sars. He called it deceptive lizard. Because a pet saurus tail bones look like they could have belonged to a different creature called a mosasaur. Mosasaurs were reptiles that lived in the sea. People used to think that a pet saurus dragged its tail on the ground and stretched its neck up high into the air. Now people think that its tail and neck were held more even with the rest of its body. But scientists still study a pet sars. There are more things to learn about this deceptive lizard.